Welcome back to Daily Flash, I'm Marisa Pascal. This year, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the first Harry Potter story to be presented on stage, celebrates its fifth anniversary on Broadway. Joining us now are cast members Harry Potter, played by Steve Haggard, and Harry Potter's son, Albus Potter, played by Joel Myers. Congratulations on the fifth year anniversary of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Your show has broken records as the best-selling non-musical play in Broadway history. How does it feel to be part of such a significant show? Uh, it's amazing. It's, a, it's amazing. It's an honor to be um, a part of the legacy of this uh, hit Broadway show, but also um, to continue the stories of these characters um, that so many people have loved and feel connected to. So the play begins where the books and films end. It's 19 years later, and these beloved characters are sending their own kids off to Hogwarts. So there's a lot of in store for Harry Potter fans. What makes this play new and exciting for people discovering the world of Harry Potter for that first time? Yeah, whether whether you're coming back to the Wizarding World for the thousandth time or you're coming to it for the first time, there's something for you. And it's, you know, you don't need to be a Harry Potter super fan to enjoy the show. It gives you all the basics that you need to know. Um, you know, you may be familiar with the books and the movies and seen the magic on stage, magic and CGI in the movies. We do it live on stage eight times a week. There's There's more magic per minute in this show than any other you're going to see. And it, it wows both us and the audience every night to be a part of that. Okay, now I want to talk about how amazing the special effects are. What are some of those wow experiences that the audience will have? Uh, they're pretty incredible. And, you know, not to, not to spoil anything, I don't think we are, but it's, it's an epic uh, adventure. So in a world where magic is real. So we've got magical creatures. There's a, there's a wizard duel. There's um, uh, dementors coming from the sky. That, um, and like Joel said, the magic is happening right in front of you. So um, you, the audience really is transported into um, this wizarding world. Really, the experience begins the moment the audience comes in off the street. I understand the theater has been completely transformed for this show. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you, you walk off of 43rd Street into the theater and suddenly you're in Hogwarts. You know, when, <laughs> when the show opened, they, they renovated the whole theater and it's, it all feels like Hogwarts when you walk in. There's lots of AR experiences in the lobby. You walk in, the ceiling is enchanted and we've got chocolate frogs and butterbeer and birdie bots, every flavor beans, you know, all the things you read about and want to know how they taste. You can snack on them at the show. <laughs> People come dressed up in their Hogwarts robes to just really be a part of the experience and which is so special for us uh, to see that every night and people have a great time. Many people, including myself, grew up with your character, seeing them as young people going on adventures. What's it like to inherit their legacy and to now play them as adults and parents? It's uh, amazing and it, it's um because uh, there's a responsibility because uh, you know I was a huge fan too before I was able to play Harry Potter so um, I know how connected I was to these stories and I know how connected the fans are to these to these people these characters and so it's a it, it, I, it's so much fun that I have to pinch myself sometimes coming to work. Um, but I love I love these characters as much as the audience that does coming into it. Well, thank you both for joining us and congrats on the five year anniversary of your play. We'll be sure to post this information on our website at dailyflashshow.com.